everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. For today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys what is in my work bag. If you guys do not know, I am a medical assistant and I figured that it would be fun to go through and show you guys my actual bag because it has changed since my last one. And as always, I will have all the products that mentioned in this video listed down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing them. Most of them can be found on Amazon, including the actual bag itself. And I will also have a playlist linked down below for you guys that includes all of my medical assisting related videos. And without further ado, let's get started. So this is my bag. It's hard to show the entire thing on camera because it is pretty big. But as you guys can see, it is just white with pineapples on it that are like greenish yellowish gold. And they kind of have like a gradient pattern to them. And this is by the brand Dapper and Doll and can be found right on Amazon. I will have it linked down below. I absolutely love it because it is a really sturdy canvas bag. It has nice straps. It can hold a ton, has a bunch of different pockets, and holds everything I need it to. This is all the stuff that's in it, and I still have room for more if needed. And let me tell you, I have a lot of stuff in here. But before I get into the bag, I figured I would go and talk about the outside of the bag first. As you can see, there are two mesh pockets on the side to hold a water bottle, a snack, your phone. This one typically just has my phone on the side, and then on this one, I always have a water bottle. If you've been on my channel and following me for the past few months, I'm sure you're probably surprised that that I do not have one of my Contigo water bottles that I talk about in almost every video, but I started using this one again. I've had this one for probably four or five years. It is one from Simply Modern. It is the 20 ounce Ascent water bottle. I started using Simply Modern before they became popular when you could only find them on Amazon. Now you can also find them on Target and they're becoming pretty popular, but I have been using this for the simple fact that I have been putting my iced coffee in it rather than water, and I don't want to put my iced coffee in the auto spout ones from Contigo because I would chug it down. However, when it's in this, I slowly sip it throughout the day. And what's great is that it is one of the insulated ones that keeps things cold. And then on the back, there is a little zippered compartment and everything that is in this little zippered compartment is stuff that ends up in my scrub pockets when I start work. And I figured if I just throw it all into this little zip pocket right here, then I know where everything is. The first thing I have is just a mini composition notebook. This is from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love these. They are great to write down little things. I don't write patient information down in here. I usually just write little notes for things I need to remember. They fit right in the side pocket of my scrub pants. I of course have a pen as well. Pens often go missing in the healthcare field. I'm sure anyone in the healthcare field can tell you that. So this stays in my scrub pants pocket. I do not lend it out to anyone. If I have to lend out a pen, it's one that's coming from my desk, not my pocket. And then I just have two other things. I have a chapstick. This is just the Nivea Milk and Honey chapstick, as well as these Listerine Fresh Burst pocket packs. And now to actually get into the bag, and I'm going to start with these two small pockets right here on the side. In the first one, I just have two of the Liquid IV Hydration Multipliers. These ones are in the Lemon Lime flavor. They are just added electrolytes. You put it in water. I also have a mask. This one's from Janu. At work, we just wear surgical masks, but I do have a cloth one in my bag just to have it. And then in this second pocket, I have two things. The first one is just a snack. I normally have my bag loaded with snacks, but I haven't restocked my bag this week for snacks, so I just have one left. And this one is just a kind bar. It is one of the chewy with a crunch ones, and it is in the flavor vanilla blueberry. I absolutely love these. And what's really great about these ones is they are gluten-free. And then the last thing in that pocket is just my bag reel. Some days, I simply just clip my bag reel onto me, but other days I like to wear it around my neck. I never used to, however, recently I started wearing it like that. This is just my lanyard. It is a plain purple lanyard and it is from Vera Bradley. And on the lanyard itself, I actually have my medical assistant pin that I got at my medical assisting pinning ceremony once I finished my externship and officially graduated. And then on the large key ring that comes on all of the Vera Bradley lanyards, I just have my bag reel that I've been using lately, which is just this one. It is from Walmart. It came on its own lanyard. However, I was not a fan of it, so I put my own clip on it, and I can either wear it like a regular clip, or I can use it as a keychain if I have a loop on my scrubs, or easily just put it back on the lanyard. And then on the little clippy part of the lanyard, I just have a hand sanitizer from Bath 
and Body Works. This one is in Fresh Sea Spray. This has been my go-to scent lately. I got these last summer and I got a bunch of them. And then on my actual badge reel, I have a keychain with a little Sharpie. I like having it on my badge reel because then it doesn't go missing. I use this a lot for labeling things. I have this cool little clear case. This is what my actual badge goes in. Obviously for the purpose of this video and the amount of information that is on it, I took it out. But this just came from Walmart. I think it was like $1.50. I also have a quick card from MD Pocket. I've mentioned these in tons of videos here on my channel. This one just has the conversions for weight, temperature, height, mass, volume, and length. And then on the other side, it just has the various faces for the pain scale. I also have my RCAT badge. If you guys would like, I can do an entire video on this, how to use stuff like that, but it's basically just used for EKGs. As medical assistants, we are not required to read EKGs and we're not really qualified to read them in general. However, we do in fact perform EKGs EKGs on patients and I just like having this so that when I print it off and go to give it to the doctor I can quickly look at it so I know if I need to immediately get the doctor or if it can wait until they are done with the patient they are with currently and then send them into the patient's room and then I also have this clear pocket and this usually has my CPR certification card as well as my CMA card from the AMA that just shows my ID number and stuff showing that I am in fact a certified medical assistant through the American Association of Medical Assistants. I actually have quite a few videos on how I became a CMA that I will leave down below for you guys in that playlist. And that is everything that is currently on my lanyard and badge reel. On the other side of the bag, there's this little zippered pocket. I don't actually have anything in it. So I am just gonna go ahead and start picking things out of the large pocket to show you. First off, I have some lotion. This is one of my new favorites. This is the Vaseline Intensive Care Non-Greasy Essential Healing Lotion. My hands are always super dry, especially with the amount of time that I am washing them now and I am always putting lotion on because of it. Like the name suggests it is non-greasy which is one of my favorite things because I cannot stand greasy lotions. I have my wallet. I've mentioned this a bunch on my channel already and I got it off Amazon for 10 bucks and it is the best wallet ever. It is literally the exact same thing as like a Michael Kors one but it was $10 and I've had it for I think two years now and it's held up great. No scratches, no marks. I have this box and this is a Pelican case. These are are waterproof boxes and I actually have a special lanyard that can go on it too so it can hang if needed but this is what I carry around in my work bag as my allergy bag and I actually recently did an updated version of what is in my allergy bag I will leave it down below for you guys and in that video I mentioned that I do not carry that to work but instead I have something else this is that something else it is a pelican case I got mine from Cabela's this one in particular is the pelican 1040 micro case so this is what I carry around in my work bag because it is pretty small. This is my phone size compared to it. I have the iPhone XR and this is also what I bring around with me in terms of an allergy bag in the summer when I'm at the lake and stuff and the beach so that nothing gets ruined. I have an extra set of scrubs. If you work in the medical field I cannot recommend enough the importance of bringing an extra set of scrubs to work with you either keeping them in your desk or in your car or in your work bag like I do. I actually only have the top for these scrubs because the other day I actually had to change my my scrub bottoms and I also always keep them in a gallon size Ziploc bag so you can put the gross scrubs into here. For those of you who are curious the scrubs that I just have in here are the new ones from Janu and I absolutely love them. They're in the heathered gray color. They are so soft and I actually did an entire video reviewing these that I will leave down below for you guys and I also have a coupon code for you guys that you can use that I will put right up here and then I just have my glasses. Something you guys may not know fun fact is that I do in fact have to wear glasses. These are my glasses. I don't film with them for the simple fact that you can see my ring light and it gets pretty obnoxious. My glasses are just from iMart Express and these are just what they look like on. I absolutely love them and they are purple. I also have a three ring binder in here. This one's just one inch and it, this is my clinical reference handbook. I just made this on my own and basically it just has a bunch of dividers and then page protectors with things in it. So I have a section for injections and immunizations, specimen collection, medication administration, and a bunch of other things. If you guys would like me to do an entire video where I go through and tell you what it exactly is in my clinical handbook, definitely let me know. This was not provided to me. I made it all on my own. It's just the basic things that medical assistants do and I just have it in here as a reference in case I need it. And then the last thing that I have in my work bag is a makeup bag. This one's from Vera Bradley and I actually got this for $10 from Kittery Trading Post which is here in Maine and and 
and they had an entire section of Vera Bradley and I was looking at everything and I needed a new makeup bag because the one I had from Vera Bradley and the one that I've always used I've had since middle school I am now 26 so it was time to get a new one and I really like this one because it's small and I also really liked that it is covered in like a plasticky material so that the fabric doesn't get ruined and in here as you can see it is chock full of random things that I could need I have a travel deodorant this is one of the secret deodorant balls I have a little mirror from Sephora some Advil dual action this is what I use for cramps headaches aches pains I have some hair ties I have an empty Mentos container if you've been following me you know that I reuse containers for different things in here I have a dollar bill I have some mini fingernail clippers a mini file some mini tweezers and I also have a mini spray bottle of perfume I do not use it at work we're not allowed to wear fragrances this is just my go-to makeup bag when I'm on the go that's why it has it in here I have a lint roller this is my favorite lint roller this is from Flint you can find them right on Amazon you can also find them at Bed Bath & Beyond and it is just your average lint roller however it twists down so that it is not floating around in your bag collecting dirt and lint and stuff because the sticky part is protected I have another hand cream this one is from Bath & Body Works and this one is in snowflakes and cashmere this was one of their new winter scents and it smells so good I have one of the Neutrogena single makeup wipes I don't use these that often because they do irritate my skin but it's in there just in case I have one of my holy grail mascaras this is the stretch X mascara from touch and soul I've been using this for years I absolutely love it it gives great length to your lashes I have this which is just the Burt's Bees lemon butter cuticle cream and then I have one of the small packets of the Advil allergy and congestion relief and that is everything in here So that is everything that is in my work bag. I absolutely love this bag. It is sturdy. It holds everything I needed to hold. It's cute and it has so many different functions. If I wanted to, I could use it as a beach bag, an overnight bag. If you have kids, you could also easily use it as a diaper bag and I cannot recommend this bag enough. And it is hands down one of my best purchases on Amazon that I've ever made. If you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. While you guys are down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I upload new content regularly and would love it if you'd become part of our little family. Also, be sure to hit the bell so that you are in fact notified every time I do upload a new video. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!